Hi, I'm John Cannon with Cannon Associates, and we are fierce advocates for families and clients that are facing a variety of civil lawsuits and issues they need to be heard from the court. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the process of mediation in a civil case, the pros and cons, and why someone should consider or refuse to go to mediation. One of the reasons that we are passionate about this type of work is we know that there are limited circumstances in which a person can have redress or have their civil claims heard. Although there is the criminal justice system that deals with crimes, the family law system that deals with custody, the only really available resource to address a wrong other than that is through the civil litigation process. And in this video today, I'm gonna to walk you through that process. Civil litigation is the catch-all for injustices in our system. And it's important to know that at one phase or another in your civil lawsuit, there's a good chance that you or the other party will explore mediation. So what is mediation? Mediation is a process where you and your counsel, the other party and their counsel, go in front of a detached third party, typically an experienced civil litigation attorney, and you will present your side of why you have a righteous case. And your attorney will fight for you as to why you have a valid claim. And the other side will raise their defenses or what problems they see in your case. And the mediator will use their training, experience, in cases they've seen previously to speak to both sides about pain points that they should consider. And oftentimes that results in a resolution of the case. So it leads the parties set in mediation in their civil lawsuit. Oftentimes the court will require some type of out of court meeting where the parties attempt to resolve their case. But there's also reasons the defense and plaintiff will want to set a mediation. Civil litigation is a contentious process. Both sides are fighting one side our clients are saying a wrong has been done to them and they deserve justice. The other side of the defense is saying there was not a wrong or we're not going to compensate you for what you're claiming took place. Both sides have the potential of losing. And those considerations are reasons why plaintiffs and defenses in civil litigation decide to mediate those cases. We will never represent a client that we do not think has a valid claim and we will fight for every client. However, there are still reasons to consider going to mediation. So as a plaintiff, what are some of the pros to considering going to mediation? Well, for one, there's the potential of resolving your claim and moving on with your life in a much faster route than the actual full civil litigation process. Some civil lawsuits can take two or three years to litigate. There aren't speedy trial rights in most civil cases like you see in federal and state court for criminal cases. And so we have multiple clients that want to pursue that option to try and resolve their case in a more expedited manner. Another reason that many of our clients consider mediation is it's less expensive. If you prevail or we assist you in prevailing in your case, you will be responsible for the cost of litigation on behalf of your claim prior to receiving the judgment on your behalf. So the cost of trial and depositions and discovery and hiring experts and traveling out of town or state and investigating your claim, all of those expenses will be taken out of what you would receive at a jury verdict. So many of our clients want to pursue the option of mediation, resolve their case at an earlier phase in the process. In fact, quite recently, we had a client who unfortunately lost a loved one, their father, and that mediation in that case, we were able to settle that claim within months of the harm that they had suffered, as opposed to the potential of a long, drawn-out process of litigation with expert witnesses on both sides and potentially a trial two years from that date. So alternatively, what are some of the cons to consider mediation in your case? Oklahoma law and our constitution allows that you as a plaintiff have the right to unlimited damages for non-economic harm that you suffer. In fact, our Supreme Court has recently ruled that yes, in fact, you are not barred from how much a jury can decide the harm you suffered is worth. In civil cases, there's really two branches of damages. There's economic damages for what actual costs you've had or what losses you've suffered from lost income, for treatment, for medical expenses. And then the larger sum often in many cases is non-economic damages. What we found is juries, if they feel that you've been harmed in ways that can never be recovered, the loss of a loved one or loss of use of an aspect of your life or harm to one of your family members, the non-economic damages a jury could award could be far greater than what you settle your case for mediation. Another con to consider mediation in your case is that in order for it to be resolved at mediation, you're gonna find the defense are required to feel satisfied with the settlement you reach, whether it's a smaller amount than you may be entitled to, or whether it's less than their insurance provider thinks they may suffer a trial. 
one of the important considerations is that at mediation, in order to settle the case, you will have to reach an amount of settlement, which is less than the defense thinks could happen to them at trial. Another con to consider in mediation in your case is that insurance companies play a major role in what happens on the defense side. Plaintiff's cases are not you as the plaintiff and your counsel and the person or company that harmed you on the other side. The insurance company for that entity or individual plays a major role in how your case is resolved. They will look at your case, similar cases in your community, similar cases across the country from other insurance that they provide and determine what they think your case is worth. They will set a bracket or a range for what they think the worst case and best case scenario is for their outcome in your case at trial. So if you're going to settle your case in mediation, you will have to, in most instances, settle for an amount less than the insurance company thinks you could receive at trial. We are fierce advocates for every client that we have the honor of serving, including families that are facing civil lawsuits or going to mediation. One important consideration is that the defendants are not serious about your case if they aren't willing to speak about real resolution or damages that hint at covering the loss that you've suffered, you and your attorney must be ready to end that mediation at the appropriate time. You can certainly stay too long in mediation, but rarely can you leave too early. I'm John Cannon, owner and founder of Cannon Associates. We're dedicated to fierce advocacy for every client we have the honor of representing. If you're considering mediation in your case, we'd be more than happy to talk to you about building a strong argument in defense of your claims. If mediation is not right for you, we will happily take your case to trial. If you have questions about this issue or want to learn more about civil litigation or mediation potentially in your case, please feel free to call our office or reach out to us through our website.